Hi, this is Matt Pullen here, and welcome back to Stonewall Legacy. We're going to take a quick look back into the Baltic defense. The Baltic defense being bishop to f5 on move 2. And I recommended c4 the last time, and mainly I talked about black playing the move c6 here, and I also mentioned e6, with the uh, point being queen to b3 to attack the weak b7 pawn, because the bishop has left. And now I discussed some options for black. b6 creates weaknesses on light squares. Queen c8 drops the pawn on d5. Pawn takes, bishop takes, queen c8 surrenders the center. But there's one option here that I did not discuss for a black, and I should have. So I'll, I'm just going to make a quick video about it now so that uh, people don't get mad at me if they uh, see this from their opponent in a real game. Uh, knight c6, ignoring the b7 pawn altogether. And this sets what I'm going to refer to as the Baltic trap. Let's see what happens, say, if white captures on b7. They, uh, there's the saying, uh, he who eats the queen knight pawn shall sleep in the street. Well, certainly uh, white will be sleeping in the street after knight to b4, threatening knight c2 check, winning the rook in the corner. So there's only one move to guard against this, knight to a3. And now black continues rook b8. And the queen has only one unprotected square to go to, and that's a7, so queen takes a7. And now black responds rook a8. And now queen to uh, b7, rook b8 again. This is a perpetual attack on the white queen. It has nowhere to go except to uh, a7 and b7, so white would have to agree to a draw, because he certainly doesn't want to lose his queen. So this uh, I really should have mentioned this Baltic trap, but I was getting sort of low on time in the other video. In fact, I've actually, uh, I've actually gotten one or two draws against uh, stronger players in uh, quick games with the Baltic trap. So it's very important to know, and if you're white and interested in winning the game, you should not capture on b7. So, what should we do instead? Well, let's look at uh, this game from 2004, Norowitz uh, reprints of. I, I was looking for a refutation to this uh, Baltic trap, but as I suspected, there isn't any. So, I think uh, Norowitz shows us uh, the most reasonable way for white to play here. Knight c6, and now white plays bishop to d2 threatening the uh, pawn on b7 because uh, the bishop on d2 allows white to trade off any knight that appears on b4. So, rook b8 guarding the pawn, and now knight f3, knight f6, bishop, uh, or trades on uh, d5, then the bishops develop, both sides castle, and knight c3. So, really, uh, it's a very simple position. Uh, White is going to try to show that black's uh, knight c6 is too much of a concession on the queen side. Because in queen pawn games, it's uh, usually anti-positional to put the knight in front of your c-pawn. That's because c-pawns uh, need to have influence over the center. And right now, black's pawn on c7 has no influence over the center. So white is going to try to achieve uh, some of his goals on the queen side, and that involves activating the d2 bishop, his worst piece. So he uh, already we see that white's uh, key uh, stratagem in this position is the c-file. Now a3, guarding the important square b4. So knight to a4, and now white uh, achieves his goal of developing the bishop. So he trades off. And now he plays queen to b4, again, to challenge the dark squares. So black captured here. And I'm not going to show uh, the rest of this game because it's incredibly complicated. But we can see what white's goals were. He got rid of his dark squared bishop. 
he uh, forced Black to spend time moving his knight from c6, and he's going to start a minority attack on the queen side. Well, I hope that uh, this has been an uh, entertaining and informative video. Remember, this is the Baltic Trap. Don't take this pawn. Queen Knight pawns, not good to take. So, so uh, Knight to b4, and now after uh, Knight to a3, which is forced, it's a perpetual attack on uh, the White Queen. So, keep an eye out for this one, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.